Hi, Steve Roots here on my What Three Words Inspired Expedition to stand on the square kitchens, bedrooms, bathrooms to make it Roots Kitchens, Bedrooms, Bathrooms. This is day three, which still finds me stranded in Porto. A storm came through yesterday, which took out all of the electricity and the mobile phone network. I also managed to break down 20 kilometers from here and haven't been able to call for assistance to get the car repaired. At least I made it to the town. So last night, the power on that side of the river came on at midnight, which was great because I got to charge everything. But unfortunately, it hasn't come on this side of the river, and this side of the river is where the garage is. Um, I've yet to discover if that garage can actually recover my car, but at least when they've got power, they'll be able to repair it. So uh, I'm going to head into the town again uh, and see if I can speak to the tourist information office and see if they've got any uh, other assistance they can provide me with. Mid-morning day three update, and the news is very bad. The weather yesterday was a yellow warning, and apparently now it's been upgraded to an orange warning uh, through this evening till 11 o'clock. Uh, on the only good news she had was that the phone network is now back in Ota. The bad news being that's a 15 minute drive through the mountains that way and as she said unfortunately I can't drive. Um, this, is, this is a problem. This means, yeah, I'm, I'm a bit worried now that I'm not going to get out of here today either. Um, and that will only leave me one day for the mountain. I'll have to come up with a new plan. The small marina and beach at Porta. I didn't find this last night because I didn't go through the little alleyway to, to see it. I just saw on a map that, uh, that it was here and it's very pretty. News just in, I was walking out the town to see if I could hitch lift to Otter where there's a mobile phone network and the message I sent to my wife last night got delivered and I got a message back um, checking I was okay which is very nice. So now I'm walking back into the town because there must be a small area of phone signal somewhere along the path I've just been. Hopefully I can find it and then call for assistance. So I managed to get off a few emails and a few text messages to let everyone know I'm okay, which is good, but there's not enough service there for a phone signal. Now I think, oh, excuse me, jumping over some broken trees, um, I think the reason there's signal there is because I reckon it's got line of sight to Ota, which I think is up in the valley just up there. So I'm gonna go back to the earlier plan, which is to try and hitchhike to Ota. 8 p.m., end of day three, and unbelievably, I have a fixed tyre. Uh, I'm just about to put that on the car. Huge thanks to lots of people that helped me today. So at uh, lunchtime I met Angela and Oliver who took me to Otto in their camper van to try and get a phone signal, um, which we got, but that didn't actually work out very useful for me trying to talk to the assurance and the uh, car hire people, because the normal thing is you go to the garage, which had no power, um, and then they were going to send me the phone number for the insurance company, but it never arrived because there's no phone signal or no decent phone signal, so I'm sure they sent it. Um, anyway, when we came down to the town, we checked the garage and it was open, so that was handy. Um, and they said, oh, we'll take you to your car, which was great. We'll just go some shopping first. That all went terribly wrong because the bank cards didn't work, so there was like a couple of hours of toing and froing them trying to sort out money and things, but they still said they'd take me. And as good as their word, uh, they brought me all the way up here at the end of the day, running way behind for themselves. Um, uh, Oliver's an author, so he's got some books, so I'm going to list those uh, and encourage you all to buy them. Most of them are in German. There's an English book that he mentioned, um, and they're for children aged uh, sort of uh, eight to ten, I think he said, so, uh, so I'll be buying those. Um, and Angela actually just did an interview today, that was why she had to go up to Otto herself to get on the phone, so she had a job interview to be uh, uh, a teacher. So yeah, huge thanks to them. So they got me to my car, and I was going to end up staying the night here, because I thought, well, that'll be fine. Um, but then the couple that were parked next to me said, well, we're going back to Porto, so we could just take you and the tyre. So that's what we did. And then I thought the garage was going to be closed and the garage was still open. It's just a small business, much like my own. And because they were there, they said, oh, we'll fix your tyre for you. So they fixed the tyre in 10 minutes. And then I hitchhiked back with uh, Joseph and Anna from Spain, who had just arrived today in, or yesterday in Corsica and had camped one night and were just on their way north and saw me by the side of the road holding a tyre and picked me up. So how lucky am I? <sighs> Happy days again at the end of day three. Uh, I'm going to get that tyre on uh, and get going.